I'll try and get it better. I am bone. Jesus Christ. It's going well. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to part 16. I think we're on the home straight now. I hope we're on the home straight because I think we've probably got about two or three episodes left and and then we'll get some answers. I kind of I kind of want to play other games now. I'm getting to the point where okay, you've set up a lot of the story. I feel for the characters, I feel for their situation, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And this is just my re sort of pre-review on the game. Um and probably the most exciting thing to happen so far was us working against the clock in the archives at the police station. So it is more about an emotional journey, I think, that they're trying to get us to, to experience. But until we hit these last few episodes and there will be more answers in the loft, um, it kind of it kind of needs a bit more of pace to it, I think. That's how I feel anyway at the minute. So let me know what you think. Comment in the box below. Um, and yeah, let's get on with the game. Yeah, she's been having anxiety attacks, hasn't she? And she confessed to Eddie, so now she's got to tell her brother maybe she's done that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later. You know I will. Play nice. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? No, go there now. <laughs> I'm gonna see. So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him. Shock on blank. Um, Arson's not his style. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. Yes. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Mary Ann first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Finally. Don't know why you needed to sit down to tell him that. And this is where we find your father's skeleton. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got there our deadbeat dad to thank for that. Ooh. So obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Uh, it's just party storage. 
Let's be nice to her. We don't have to do this. We might not like what we find. When has that ever stopped us? Right, I was nice. That's enough. I want to see. Okay, that's not going to help. We still need a ladder. Uh... No lever. Man, this place is a mess. I thought I saw something red over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. Something red, okay. That gives me an idea of what we need. The ladder. Is that not helpful at all? Uh, shovel. Nope. Um, something red. Oh. The handle should be behind this. Oh, there it is. I would never have found that. <laughs> it's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's find a way to climb up there. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. We know where one is. Who's first? Oh my goodness. What the friggity fook is this? She is a witch. <laughs> Can you see anything? Oh, you're brave, sending her up first. Nope, not a... Maybe... Better have done this in the daytime with sunlight. Here, found a switch. <gasps> wow. Oh, holy shit. Well, that shaved a few years off my life. Traveling circus? It's her story. Oh. Look, she left us something. Another puzzle. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> You want to do this? Yeah. Let's start here. Right. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Mad goblins tricked the Mad oh, Hunter. Here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? Okay. Okay. Spot the differences. So... It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Oh, okay. Oh, so we can select... certain things to be buttons. And obviously you can deselect them, so they need to be in the right order. Let's go back. One, two... I mean, so the arms, are they different? Not 
What about the castle? There's no castle. Whoop. Sorry. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be the gold lady's castle. And it looks like the princess is running away from it. So Marianne ran away from home. And she grew... It's just a random star. No special meaning. The castles... I took that off because... There are just stars there. There's no castle. The princess isn't hiding. She is hiding here. Um, there's no princess in the water. The mad hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the gold lead or not. Right, so what about the trees? They all look the same. The title's different. Uh, it's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. So the castle, the title, the princess. What's that tree? Are these trees, this whole wood? That tree's not there. Huh. No goblins. Yeah. Well, the goblins In the there. original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the mad hunter. So we saved Marianne from something, but not in this version? Hiding. Once upon a time, in a castle just beyond the ancient and deep forest, the mad hunter was punished by the gold lady for failing to return with the wise princess. I'll take your left hand. Oh. Hang on. There we go. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? <laughs> you're asking about that, considering everything you're seeing right now. <laughs> wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. What else have we got? Awards? Uh, I dancing? can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. How do you know? <laughs> Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. Hmm. I can't do this anymore. You deserve better than cliche bullshit like it's not you, it's me. But the truth is, it's all just been too much to deal with and I've realised I'm just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with all of this on our own, without your mum constantly putting pressure on us, things could have been different. But the damage is done and it's probably too late for that now. I'm so sorry, you're an amazing person. You made me a better man. I hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we would both be better off apart. There I go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. Here, but I'm gone. Brent. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? I would guess so. So basically this is the life before everything? The like gold shit? lady. That was definitely her mom. So did Marianne grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Right, so we're getting a picture of the mum being a bitch. Uh, a lost love and a lost... Well, two lost loves. Three lost loves, maybe. A pet bird dancing and whoever Brent was. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Okay. There's the gold lady again. She's... All over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So, 
Maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Okay. So, at the top... Got pets. Bird. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Del- The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I uh, guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures? I don't think she was having any fun. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. It's engineering. She's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Uh... Visual arts, I would say Brent was a visual artist then. Because I think that's an engineering picture at the end. Because the other's medical and finance and law. That's a broken heart in the middle. I'm going to assume he was in the visual arts. Huh. What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's opening. Boom. <laughs> What's in there this time? Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Um. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. A period and a beginning. Ooh, decent amount. Uh, I let him know you're interested in the house he's selling, Tammy. Okay. So that stands for buying this house. What's this before we read the letter? Salmonberry Park, Kodiak Island. Salmonberry Park? Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. Don't be a stranger. It's so weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? Uh. Okay. Her father. Mm. Hope this letter finds you, but since you didn't leave any contact information, I have to send it to your aunt and hope for the best. I'm writing to inform you that your mother passed away last week. Gentle. We just had her funeral reception. The house has been filled with people all day. Friends, family, colleagues, and church members. It's now 11pm and I'm sitting alone at the kitchen table, surrounded by dozens of trays of food, flowers and sympathy cards. Your cousin, Aidy, brought in a beautiful photo album full of our holiday pictures in Lacona. You're there in all of them, but you weren't here today. We haven't heard from you in four years. Oh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, we haven't heard from you in four years and can only hope you made it to Alaska or wherever you are and that you and your child are both safe. Child? Your mother had been sick and depressed for years and you can imagine why the pain of being shunned by her own daughter knowing she would never get to see her grandchild grow up. It spread through her body like cancer and consumed her completely. All this suffering simply because you ran away like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting her help when you got pregnant out of wedlock after dropping out of college and without a penny to your name. She only stepped up to help because you knew you weren't ready to raise a child properly, Marianne. A mother's duty doesn't end when her children leave home. Now that your mother, you're a mother yourself, I hope you'll begin to understand that good parenting isn't about coddling children, it's about providing for them and shaping them into the people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. Wow. I won't trouble you again. You've made your intentions clear. I just thought you should know. Dad. Nice guy. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Hmm. 
Hmm. Right, unless that's close to the next thing. This just lit up, so I think we're supposed to try this one next. What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? Okay. I know we can move the pieces, but I'm just trying to see what all that means. So I'm assuming that's Salmonberry. One day she took her tiara and went and ran away to the when and ran away to the forest. <laughs> Um, so she was a watchmaker? Some sort of clock? Then she bought the house? This is the princess's house. Then she... What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. I don't know if I'm doing this in order, by the way. I don't know, I don't know what the correct... That's the gold lady's castle. Ah. Uh, okay, so we, we're in. We're going around the wrong way. This looks like a dinner party uh, no, with no, the no, old no, bear no. and the very old beaver. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> beaver. Right. So. Right, so I think maybe that one. And that What's one. What's that plant thing on top? In the oh, some sort of clock. In the house? This is the princess's house. In this one, maybe? This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. <laughs> is that yes. it again? Oh, look, What's in there? Letters Another letter? on the inside of the doors as well. E on that one, so I wonder. The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. Once upon a time, in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She made it through the woods into that house with nothing left but the clothes on her back and a single item from her old life. A splendid tiara. She lost almost everything in her desperate flight from the mad hunter. The, tees the trees tore the rucksack from her back and shredded her dress and left a pattern of red welts on her skin. But through it all she clutched the tiara close to her chest, fearing any misstep could cause it to fall from her arms and break. That a baby... Tiara had its own spot in the wood, big wooden house, a pillow near the window, where sun could catch on its surface to shine and wink. The princess could stare for hours at the tiara, marvelling in its beauty and running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it, polishing its every surface to be sure it shone as brightly as it possibly could. Maybe not the baby. <laughs> then she would pluck it up, place it on her head, <laughs> definitely not the baby, and walk the woods feeling somehow more complete. Because what, after all, was a princess without a crown? Every night she would place it upon its pillow, give it a quick kiss and go to bed. Maybe the baby? <laughs> on her way, she would pause and glance back to be sure it was still there. She hated to be separated from it, but she knew it was safest on the pillow while she slept. One, one night the princess woke to a raging storm the wind howled against the walls rattling the windows in their panes fearing a gust might burst open a window and blow the tiara to the ground she plucked it from its pillow and brought it to her bed I know that's not what it says all through the night she held the tiara close and in the morning she woke to find herself still cradling it the storm had passed and the princess relaxed that day was the same as any other though she perhaps gave the tiara an even more thorough cleaning grateful as she was that nothing had gone wrong. That night she placed the tiara upon its pillow, gave it a quick kiss and went to bed, pausing on her way to make sure it was there. In the morning she woke and sensed immediately that something was wrong. In the living room the tiara lay upon the ground, broken, dull and faded. Nothing else in the room had changed. The pillow was exactly where she had left it. The window was closed. There had been no storm, no wind, no sign that anything at all could have gone amiss. Only the broken tiara. Mute upon the ground, she picked it up and held it in her arms with a guttural cry. But though she tried to fix and polish it, it was gone beyond repairing with no shine left. Oh no god, if this represents the baby and the baby was killed. The princess held the tiara through the day and through the next night, sitting in the same spot at the window where she used to polish it. When the sun rose, she looked outside and her gaze fixed on a sapling. She remembered how this sapling had survived the winter, clinging to life despite the frozen unforgiving earth. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone and with it the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and beautiful gown, but a wane woman, alone in a deep and ancient forest. 
That was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. And that's the beginning again. It's a sad story. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. And then he was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah, but we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Well, there's letters on the inside of those doors. Okay, so how do we open it? What's that crown? The princess lost her most precious treasure. Right. That's why it all happened. I still can't... All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> One of the letters is L, but what are the colors? So that's red, orange. I see, right. Let me just check. That's red, so we want a red L, and a yellow O, and an orange E. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> red L, orange O. Is that it? Or did I get the colors around the wrong way? Orange E, yellow O. Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. Yes. Oh my god. Run away! <laughs> Did it just get darker in here? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. The Allison and Ollie, they write stories was her son. to understand and be understood, but what good is a story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept mine for you for so long, all my love goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? That where the baby's buried? Oh, Baba. Is that... Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. To protect you from him, maybe? I mean, who's the Mad Hunter? Allie. Did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... Even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Isn't there something else in the box? Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. Oh.
Hey. Okay, guys. Sorry, Alison. I'm going to leave that one there because I think we might even be on the home straight now. It might be the uh, last episode. Well, either that or it's the um, second to last. Well, that was cool. That's what I expected more of this to be, actually, the game. I expected there to be more puzzles um, like that or more encounters that would mean that we'd find more information if we asked the right questions. So it's interesting how this, is, this game has gone. It picks up at different points. But yeah, I think I think we're now going to finally find out because I think she's determined now to pull that memory back. So yeah, cool. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and stay amazing.